the gravitational constant, approximately 6.67 a, 10 11 an hour, meter per kilogram, 2 and denoted by letter g, is an empirical physical constant involved in the calculation, s, of gravitational force between two bodies. It usually appears in Sir Isaac Newton's law of universal gravitation, and in Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. It is also known as the universal gravitational constant, Newton's constant, and colloquially as big G. It should not be confused with little g, which is the local gravitational field, especially that at the Earth's surface. Laws and constants, according to the law of universal gravitation, the attractive force between two bodies is directly proportional to the product of their masses, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance, r, between them. The constant of proportionality, g, is the gravitational constant. The gravitational constant is a physical constant that is difficult to measure with high accuracy. In SI units, the 2010 CODATA recommended value of the gravitational constant is with relative standard uncertainty 1.2 a, 10 a 4. Dimensions, units, and magnitude, the dimensions assigned to the gravitational constant in the equation ab of e euro length cubed, divided by mass, and by times square e euro are those needed to balance the units of measurements in gravitational equations. However, these dimensions have fundamental significance in terms of Planck units. When expressed in SI units, the gravitational constant is dimensionally and numerically equal to the cube of the Planck length divided by the product of the Planck mass and the square of Planck time. In natural units, of which Planck units are a common example, g and other physical constants such as c may be set equal to 1. In many secondary school texts, the dimensions of g are derived from force in order to assist student comprehension. In CGS, g can be written as G can also be given as. Given the fact that the period P of an object in circular orbit around a spherical object obeys. Where V is the volume inside the radius of the orbit, we see that. This way of expressing G shows the relationship between the average density of a planet and the period of a satellite orbiting just above its surface. In some fields of astrophysics, where distances are measured in pasks, velocities in kilometers per second and masses in solar units, it is useful to express g as the gravitational force is extremely weak compared with other fundamental forces. For example, the gravitational force between an electron and proton one meter apart is approximately 10 to 67 an, whereas the electromagnetic force between the same two particles is approximately 10 to 28 an. Both these forces are weak when compared with the forces we are able to experience directly, but the electromagnetic force in this example is some 39 orders of magnitude greater than the force of gravity a euro roughly the same ratio as the mass of the Sun compared to a microgram. History of measurement The gravitational constant appears in Newton's law of universal gravitation, but it was not measured until 71 years after Newton's death by Henry Cavendish with his Cavendish experiment performed in 1798. Cavendish measured G implicitly, using a torsion balance invented by the geologist Reverend John Michael. He used a horizontal torsion beam with lead balls whose inertia he could tell by timing the beam's oscillation. Their faint attraction to other balls placed alongside the beam was detectable by the deflection it caused. Cavendish's aim was not actually to measure the gravitational constant, but rather to measure the Earth's density relative to water through the precise knowledge of the gravitational interaction. In retrospect, the density that Cavendish calculated implies a value for g of 6.754 10-11-m3-gar-1-zar-2. The accuracy of the measured value of g has increased only modestly since the original Cavendish experiment. g is quite difficult to measure, as gravity is much weaker than other fundamental forces, and an experimental apparatus cannot be separated from the gravitational influence of other bodies. Furthermore, gravity has no established relation to other fundamental forces, so it does not appear possible to calculate it indirectly from other constants that can be measured more accurately, as is done in some other areas of physics. Published values of G have varied rather broadly, and some recent measurements of high precision are, in fact, mutually exclusive. 
In the January 5, 2007 issue of Science, the report Atom Interferometer Measurement of the Newtonian Constant of Gravity describes a new measurement of the gravitational constant. According to the abstract, here, we report a value of g equals 6.693 a 10 11 cubic meters per kilogram second squared, with a standard error of the mean of a plus or minus 0.027 a 10 11 and a systematic error of a plus or minus 0.021 a 10 11 cubic meters per kilogram second squared. Under the assumption that the physics of type E is supernovae are universal, Analysis of observations of 580 type E as supernovae has shown that the gravitational constant has varied by less than one part in 10 billion per year over the last 9 billion years. The GM product. The quantity GMA euro the product of the gravitational constant and the mass of a given astronomical body such as the Sun or the Earth a euro is known as the standard gravitational parameter and is denoted. Depending on the body concerned, it may also be called the geocentric or heliocentric gravitational constant, among other names. This quantity gives a convenient simplification of various gravity-related formulas. Also, for celestial bodies such as the Earth and the Sun, the value of the product GM is known much more accurately than each factor independently. Indeed, the limited accuracy available for G often limits the accuracy of scientific determination of such masses in the first place. For Earth, using as the symbol for the mass of the Earth, we have. Calculations in celestial mechanics can also be carried out using the unit of solar mass rather than the standard SI unit kilogram. In this case we use the Gaussian gravitational constant K, where. And, is the astronomical unit. Is the mean solar day. Is the solar mass. If instead of mean solar day we use the sidereal year as our time unit, the value of Ks is very close to 2 i euro. The standard gravitational parameter gm appears as above in Newton's law of universal gravitation, as well as in formulas for the deflection of light caused by gravitational lensing, in Kepler's laws of planetary motion, and in the formula for escape velocity. See also Notes References External links Newtonian constant of gravitation G at the National Institute of Standards and Technology references on constants, units, and uncertainty, the controversy over Newton's gravitational constant a euro additional commentary on measurement problems.